Canada's federal liberal leader is standing his ground after admitting to smoking pot in the past while serving as an MP. Justin Trudeau opened up about smoking up in an interview and he's not apologizing for it. Jessica Murphy is live in Ottawa with more on this. So obviously Trudeau's raising a few eyebrows, especially when he confesses to using pot while being an MP. Definitely creating a lot of buzz, Alex. Uh, there is quite a bit of political reaction to this, with both, for example, a Justice Minister Peter McKay and NDP Justice Critic Francoise Boivin showing that, saying that it really showed a lack of judgment to be getting high while you were an MP. Remember, uh, Trudeau admitted to uh, taking a toke on a joint, then passing it along at a dinner party he hosted uh, in Montreal back uh, about three years ago, 2010. He was elected in 2008. Uh, I also want you to hear Prime Minister Stephen Harper's reaction. This is all he had to say. Take a listen. Uh, for Mr. Uh, Trudeau, I think... Uh uh, those actions speak for themselves, and I don't have anything to add. So nothing else to say, uh, but Trudeau is uh, saying that uh, he doesn't worry. He's not worried about the criticism. That essentially he's trying to be open. He's trying to be transparent on these issues, uh, and uh, and that he's like many Canadians who who on occasion will smoke a joint and don't really make a big deal of it. In fact. He even says he's not really a fan of the stuff. Here's Justin Trudeau speaking yesterday in Quebec City. I have not taken other drugs. Uh, I, I have been in my past uh, a very rare user of marijuana. I think five or six times in my life that I've taken a puff. Uh, it's not my thing. I think I'm in more trouble for having admitted that I don't drink coffee. There you go, Alex. He also doesn't drink coffee. All right, it's the five or six times I can't really believe here. But he also had the gall to attack uh, the conservative tough on crime policies, right? Well, that's right. He said, look, he, he is, a, in a sense, a recent convert to the idea of, of pot legalization. During the campaign, to, when he was running for liberal leader, that was just last fall and into the early part of this year, he was in favor of decriminalization. Now he's talking full legalization. And even a few years before that, he was really wary about even the idea of decriminalization. And he's saying, now he's saying, look, I don't like these prohibitionist policies that the Conservatives have, even though back in 2009 he actually voted along with a number of, of other, uh, uh, along with the rest of the Liberal caucus for Bill C-15 and that included measures that increased penalties for people who were growing marijuana there. So, uh, but he does say, look, I I've, I've come around, I spoke with a pot law reform group recently uh, and I really think that, that legalization is the way to go and that it's the best way to regulate it and keep it out of the hands of kids, Alex. It should be an interesting uh, step forward or backward for Trudeau right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's just these half-truths that kind of get to me. If you're going to come out, well, disclose fully. And, uh, you know, I think he's got some other issues on, on his hands that uh, people are concerned about, including that, uh, remember, he was taking money for speaking tours when he was an MP. I think that's a biggie, too. So this guy's got a couple of problems on his hands, right, Jessica? He's got, there's, he, you know what, it's, it's interesting political times here on Parliament Hill. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm here in Toronto right now. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome.